Thank you for joining us. We back at it again. I'm King Bro. No drink. Remarkable. And we all over here to watch my man Stax. The song is called To Be A Man. It's the official music video. I've only heard him in black and white, and he convinced me he's the best rapper alive. So, <laughs> Christ Lord, the best rapper see, alive, huh? I'm telling you, tell me who's going to compete. I mean, from what I heard, I don't know. Have you ever heard of Dax? No. Oh, that's why. Okay. Yeah, I've heard of this guy. He's, he's, he's fire. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited, so let's get into it. I can't hide myself. I don't expect you to understand. I just hope I can explain what it's like to be a man. It's a lonely road And they don't care about what you know It's not about how you feel But what you provide inside that home Nah, yo, don't tell me he's the one singing Yo, you said best rapper This guy's singing he ain't rapping You hear this. this guy, though? Yeah, he sounds amazing Yo, yeah. he's incredible he sounds That's amazing. him singing? Oh yeah, that's him Wow. Gives you the feels right in the beginning, right? Even with what it's like to be a man right in the beginning already. He, that dude's already crying before he gets into his house. Man, this dude's voice is incredible, man. He got so much soul. Yeah, it's, Dax, Dax is just super talented, man. What it's like to be a man. It's a lonely road. And they don't care about what you know. It's not about how you feel. But what you provide inside that home Yeah I know this life can really beat you down You wanna scream but you won't make a sound Got so much weight that you've been holding But won't show any emotion As a man that goes and spoken that we Can't cry when life gets hard Unconditional love for women, children, and dogs you know that we just have to play our parts. Yeah, women, Yo. children, and dog are the only ones that actually deserve unconditional love. Yes. Uh, they they leave men out of that because we're not supposed to be the ones that are sensitive like that and get unconditional mm. love. Mm. Ah, dang, man. This guy's hitting, hitting the feels today right now, right? I know. Ah. I know. He's speaking for the man. You yeah, know what is. I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah real somebody man. has to. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The unspoken oh. truth about he the man, always, though, right? We got a voice, fellas. We got a yeah. voice. <laughs> a good voice. Yo, what? Incredible. Yo, this dude is a... Yo, he he blew me away, man. This, like... Man, this song is giving me, like, goosebumps right now, you know? Like, this... Yeah. It's, it's incredible. Looking at him and, and uh, his voice, I would have never put two together. Yeah, right? right? Yeah, never, it's like ever. somebody's somebody's dubbing him, right? And then Somebody you else me singing, that he's a rapper. Singing. Yeah, I know. That's what I thought. Of. I'm telling you, bro. Yeah. And not just a rapper. I say he's the, the best, best rapper? rapper alive. Yeah. All no, right. no, not ever. Alive right alive now. Right now. In this moment. I, I I just don't know who's gonna beat him. Yo, when you hear this dude rap, I don't know if he's gonna rap on this one. But yo, this dude can rap, rap like this yeah. guy is nasty, bro. Cause I can, I feel like like the cup, first couple of lines are like not crying and be strong, you know what I mean? Cause it's a lot of weight on uh, on men's shoulders sometimes, and people just don't realize it. The fact and that he's an independent too, and he's doing this video, it's like perfect on how exactly what he's saying and what yeah. the video is matching is it goes hand in hand. No, absolutely. The visuals is good, man. Where's he, he from? from? Mm, I'm not sure where he's from. Hmm. He's from Earth. He gotta be somewhere down he south. Ain't from right? Earth, bro. It's south, it's, it's south kind of country. <laughs> he's been sounding like he's from Earth, bro. Like I swear, like even that last verse that <laughs> I heard on country. Black and White, bro. Like he was talking about humans. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like he captures a lot, bro. His wingspan is like angels. You know what I'm saying? Like he <laughs> covers everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. This dude is a monster. Got so much weight that you've been holding, but won't show any emotion as a man that goes and spoken that way. Cry when life gets hard Unconditional love for women, children, and dogs We know that we just have to play our parts And don't nobody give a damn about our broken hearts yeah. As a man, we gotta pave our way Our only function is to work and slave There's no respect for you if you ain't paid You're disregarded as a human and you can't complain And if Yo. you ever make <laughs> Facts! Disregard <laughs> as a human and you can't Come complain on. about it, right? Come on. 
and they only judge you by what you make you know yeah what well, how you're paid right they, yeah they don't yeah. care for you as a person like what you're going through because you know you're a man you got to toughen it up you know and yeah. we do that to ourselves too you know we don't show our tears like we don't that's yeah. almost like weak to show tears you know so yeah yeah but like yo this dude is like man <laughs> Jeez. Yo, Dax, yo, come on, son. <laughs> yo, he, he might be the best singer ever, too. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> nah, this, this, this dude is fucking crazy. Yo. There's no respect for you if you ain't paid. You're disregarded as a human and you can't complain. And if you ever make it up and actually reach that place and find a woman that you love and give her your last name, you'll feel the things that you provide is only she stays and when you try to explain you'll say i can't hide myself i don't expect you to understand i just hope i can explain what it's like to be a man it's a lonely talking to me man he's talking about me man <laughs> like, about me <laughs> yeah you know like yo this hits home bro like this is this is all facts absolute truth yeah it's that I, unspoken truth that nobody likes to talk unspoken, about about being a man yes, yeah yes well yep. said exactly. being a man in america right now it's not it's not what it is not like yeah, it used yeah. to be even i used to be like men always like hold their feelings back like feelings and men don't really match you know what i'm saying mm. yeah like not in our like you know human culture i guess you could say for years on you know as long as i can remember you know what i mean if you go yeah. back in history like men always have to put that shield in front of them you know what i mean they can never express themselves you know how they really feel they just got to get the job done you know yeah when you got to be the foundation of your home right you got to be the mm -hmm. strong one to like not waver mm -hmm. when things go south you can't show it just like how everything's been happening in this music video right like yeah. even though all that stuff is happening around him he had to pretend every time he gets in front of his kid or any, in front of anybody that he's got to like mask that right yeah. like yeah i'm not going through nothing we're good yeah right? me, and then behind the scenes when he's by himself yeah, yeah he's, he's got to yeah. drink his problems away and then you know not talk to anybody about it you can notice none of these people have anybody that they're sitting there talking to if this was like a woman right like women love to talk their problems and do all that stuff go to mm -hmm. therapy do all these things men don't like to confide in other people they usually just muscular that this is weak themselves. it's considered exactly, right? weak you know exactly yeah, when you have to talk about way. your problems to somebody else yeah it is not right. even just weak too like even with me like i don't like to talk to brand people just because i feel like and, they, they yeah. can use that against me eventually find a weak point that's a man's shell you know that's, yeah. what, that's that's what we do you know we put a shell in front of us make sure mm -hmm. nobody picks on us or uses it against us or none of that you know what i mean we stay paranoid because it's a cold world out here yo like you know yeah. what i mean it's like, that war course. mentality right? real out here. yeah that war mentality has just been passed down though by generation by generation you think about it right Absolutely. you, you kind of grew up as a man to think that way just because mm, that's yeah. how that's our defense mechanism on when mm -hmm. people are trying to do things, we always think there's another motive behind it. It's like what you were saying, right? No drink, like, yeah, this person, if I tell them this stuff, like later on when things go south, this person can try to use this against me and try to say yep. that I'm weak or try to, you know, talk about me behind my back to other people saying like, oh yeah, you should have heard him. He was crying. Yeah, 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 that yeah, yeah. Stuff. That's why like masking our feelings is, is basically that. Like yeah. we want to make sure that like we have that uh, reputation there. Like our reputation don't get hindered, you know? Cause like mm -hmm. as soon as your reputation gets hindered, you're going to have so many clashes, so many fights. Everybody's going to mm -hmm. try you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I mean, it's not easy to be a man, yo. Let Dax tell you, yo. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Is breaking yeah. it down, yo. <laughs> this dude is a monster, yo. Yeah. They don't care about what you know. It's not about how you feel, but what you provide inside that home. Don't give up. Keep fighting. As a man, our son is our horizon. And our father's actions play a role, and we end up like them. So they can't let us see them hurt. Cause we'll embody what they do and start a generational curse. No wonder most people so depressed. Yo, man. this dude is Jeez. healing. He's healing checking it. all the boxes of being a man, right? Absolutely. Yo. Even being in everything the sun. starts, everything starts at home. Everything yeah. starts at home. 
Because yeah. kids can see everything. Kids capture everything. And even things that you don't think they capture. And sometimes like that grows into something like that's not like good. And mm-hmm. that's where the clashes come in, you know, teenage mm-hmm. years and so forth. I mean, like I was a teenager. I remember like seeing different things and things influencing me. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's yeah, I mean, the, the way he's breaking it down, you know, man, I don't know. Like I'm speechless, y'all. This dude is the greatest. <laughs> yeah, and, gen- and generational curses is real, right? Like, what are you Ooh, talking about with that? that that's, shot, a, that that's a real problem, man. Yeah, like yes. we all go, we all go through that, whether you realize it or not. When you get older, mm-hmm. you start to realize that, like, what you saw from your parents as a kid, how much mm-hmm. it affects you as you get older. Tendencies that you don't even realize. Exactly, yeah. and that goes for like the wealthy and the poor. The poor is actually a lot better because like the poor don't have that many rooms, so the family is a lot close knit you know sometimes and like the rich people got 50 rooms so like they're under phones video games and so forth like they don't they don't even like you know what i mean look at their parents you don't know what those kids are gonna grow up to be but that's that's also part of the the world like raise them you know yeah because but that's also part of that whole generational curse too because you think about it even though their parents aren't raising them when they get older that's just gonna handle their communication with other people Mm -hmm. right because usually you're the first way that you learn how to communicate with other people it's usually through your parents first. You learn exactly. how to talk with your parents and how to what you could get away with, what you could do. So you mm-hmm. bring that same kind of mentality into the world. When you don't have that when you're a kid, you don't have anybody to confide to or yeah. talk to, right? Because you, you live in separate rooms, this giant hallway between you, you don't ever talk to them. You're going to yeah. use that same kind of energy and you're going to think that's how, oh, I need to distance myself from people in real life too. Like I need yeah. to make sure that I keep them yeah. down the hallway. But, but those rich ones, they see less. Yeah. Comparing to a poor family, yeah. struggle yeah. family that mm-hmm. will do pretty they much do a that. lot more yeah. bad shit to get, to provide oh. or to survive. You, you know what it is too, no drink? Like with the poor kid, right? Because he's struggling and he's with his family, he understands that united, like we strong, divided mm-hmm. we fall. So they go about life differently. They always for the family. And the, the, the rich kids, they kind of like to themselves, you know, they're almost like selfish. They don't yeah. even know mm-hmm. a struggle. So if struggle ever hits them, I mean, if they're wealthy, they won't have no struggle but let, let's say if a struggle does hit them they wouldn't know what to do they'd be struck like a deer on headlights they'd be yeah. lost but the poor kid he's been going through so much that like it's nothing to him you know it's just another day another, <laughs> in yeah. the life yeah you build the tolerance for it right exactly it's, it's a little different when you, you got yeah. hit by it your whole life exactly yeah things don't yeah. affect you the same way yeah but definitely everything the parents do i mean like kids capture everything you know so be careful out there let's play your role and we end up like them so they can't let us see them hurt because we'll embody what they do and start a generational curse no wonder most men are so depressed all the things that they can't express they go to war get thrown on the shelf then go back to war with their mental health then grab that bottle and ask for help try to pull themselves out of hell then fall back down and then realize that they're gonna have to do with themselves it's the circle of life as a Mm. Yo, oh my god yo, this yeah. guy's spitting bars yo Jeez. yo shout out to the vets we appreciate y'all like even Absolutely. if this country doesn't appreciate y'all when y'all come back we appreciate y'all we sure I, do. I appreciate y'all for certain i know without y'all we wouldn't have what we got right now we wouldn't yeah. be as free as we are so like i appreciate y'all yeah we want to be free to bitch about stupid shit in this country yeah. so thank you I mean, that's what a lot's going on is just bitching about bullshit that we don't need to be bitch about. With, yeah. with all these billionaires in this country, like it's, it's just crazy when the vets come back home, they don't treat them well at all. Like yeah. they don't, yeah. they don't do nothing for them. It's almost like they didn't just like go risk their life for you. You know go what to, I mean? Go to Skid Row and see how many vets are on that on that on that road. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's, you know what I'm saying. That's, that's just terrible. That's crazy. That's yeah, crazy. And, the, and the reality is that's the biggest problem when we're talking about war and soldiers, right? Is they get treated, they get molded into a certain thing when you have to go out to war, right? They they mold your mind to to think like, oh, this is what you need to do. This is what you need to prepare yourself for. And you get in that whole mindset. You come back home. The other war that he's talking about is your mental now, right? You come back mm-hmm. home. Everything's kind of changed now. You don't have that same kind of war anymore. And you have to kind of cope with what's going on right now. But after everything you've seen, that that messes with your mental, right? So you think that with how much money they pour into getting these soldiers prepared to go to war, there should be just as much money getting poured into when they get home to make sure that they're good, right? And that they they get, they transition back into into the world in in a good mindset. Yeah. Yeah. And they're they're babies when they're taking them. They're babies. 
Oh, oh yeah. man, how you like their minds are not that high school a lot yeah, of the time. Yeah. Why not high school? You know yeah. what I mean? 17 yeah. going on 18, talking away right away. Like yeah. they don't know anything else but going to school and hanging out with their friends. And then you're giving them guys machine guns and putting them in the middle of the desert. Yeah. yeah and no. then you expect them to come Fight home to like, survive. hey, you're you're done. Now live yeah. your life. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, you gotta yeah. you gotta figure it out too. Yeah. It's like you know, geez, it's, man. Like, war is a, the adult year. Wars are like just an ugly game all around. It's all about it's, money. It's bad. No, no, absolutely. It's all about money. It's the companies that, that make the weaponry, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Those guys benefit from it, the politicians benefit from it. But you know who, who gets destroyed by it? The soldiers that we send out there, the mm -hmm. soldiers that are fighting them. The civilians on the ground is the worst case scenario because yeah. they can't even defend themselves. They just in the line of fire. Like, you know, like you have to witness war to understand war. You know, yeah. and and mm -hmm. war is like one of the coldest, coldest things you can go through. You know what I mean? Yeah. Really, like, yeah. and it's 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 just an ugly game, you know, all around. And that we don't show them enough respect. We don't mm -hmm. we don't we don't take care of them when they come back home. Yo, these mm -hmm. these men and women, they went over there and risked their lives. They it's not yeah. about the money at all. It's about the life that you was about to give for us. Mm -hmm. And you come back home yeah. and we don't give you a hug and we don't take care of you. Like, nope. get out of here, yo. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's so sick. Yeah. It's disgusting, you know? America, get it together. Get you know it together, I mean? please. Absolutely. Stop crying please about, don't about other that. bullshit. That don't matter. Yeah. yeah. These men that's just the matter. soldiers we're talking about. So just imagine what's going on even with their families. Because they come yeah. back in that mindset, they're already screwed up in themselves, right? Mm -hmm. They can't even get their own self back together. Now, imagine yeah. what they're doing to their families. Just like what we were yeah. talking earlier, generational curses, right? If you can't even stand to, you know, deal with yourself and you can't even figure out your own mental... How are you supposed to be able to raise your family now when you get back home and you got your kid that you exactly. got to raise like that now? People and that's that all depend they see, on you. Right? Yeah. yeah. It's sad, man. It's crazy. It really is. America could do so much better for the vets and they should. You Absolutely. Know? All, all Absolutely. you billionaires out there, like get it together, yo. What a shame you are, you know? The only yeah. reason you got all these billions is because this country is free and, and, and gives you the opportunity to get it. The least you could do is like pay the people risk their lives for you to be able to do that to get those yeah. billions of dollars. Absolutely, you suckers, y'all, get it together, y'all. Not just billionaires. It's just that's just people in general. Like we will idolize celebrities and mm. you know buy their products mm. and do whatever they want but not enough we do for vets not enough we do for older people retirement mm. homes but we idolize and give these people so much money so much of our attention it makes no sense to me sometimes like it's just I know. crazy the, the politicians yeah. is taking all the taxes you know they leaving yeah. nobody with money you know even the police are mm -hmm. complaining you know what mm -hmm. i mean it's it, the teachers are complaining anybody complaining and like the only people not complaining is the politicians because this is their plan you know what i mean yeah, this, them, of course them yeah. and the billionaires you know they they're like a team of elites you know this is they what want they you do. about they want you to argue about gender and how cold is it though like for boy for or girl how cold is it for a president right to have the nerve to send our men and women from your your, your country men your country women right you're going to send them to war risk their lives for 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 money mm-hmm yeah. You know what I mean? Or, or power. A lot of times yeah. it's power too. Yeah, power, like, yeah, like right? nobody, no, nobody attacked you. So like, why are you going over there to attack it? It makes no sense. But like, why are you risking our like our people's lives out there? Like, okay, yeah. you're robbing us for the taxes. That's fine. You know, the Queen used to do it with England and all of that, even before America. You know, so totally understandable. That's what you politicians do. You guys are scumbags. You take money, but yo, come on, you risking lives out there. Like when you go yeah. to God, how you gonna explain that to him? killed millions of people hundreds mm -hmm, of yeah. thousands of people you are responsible for that men women children everybody that died in wars you are responsible for that because you sent troops out there to go fight yeah you know they treat it as a as a chess game right yeah all the pawns and stuff like that that's the that's the soldiers exactly they don't care about any of those guys you know? right they'll, they'll sacrifice all those people for their major agenda to protect the queen right which is the regime exactly and you know it's it's not just the united states like i'm speaking to every single country because there's scumbag politicians in all of our country oh there's and everywhere, billionaires well, yeah. and scumbags yeah. just in not in america they're all over Yo, yeah. greed, all over. greed is going to be the most thing in this mm -hmm. world and they run Absolutely. the world like they, they they get it going you know like you speak about them they shut you down you know mm -hmm. they call it cancel <laughs> you they know what i mean <laughs> yeah <laughs> like yo they got so many minnows out here they never think about this you know mm. yo like sh man again shout out to the vets man we appreciate you so much yeah, yeah shout out for idea. dax for actually Honestly. bringing up some serious topics that we should actually be talking about right oh this is yeah. my man yo he's the best yeah. ever yo 
And our father's actions play a role and we end up like them So they can't let us see them hurt Cause we'll embody what they do and start a generational curse No wonder most men are so depressed All the things that they can't express They go to war, get thrown on the shelf Then go back to war with their mental health Then grab that bottle and ask for help Try to pull themselves out of hell Then fall back down and then realize That they're gonna have to do it themselves It's the circle of life as a man That's why we feel we can't hide ourselves. We don't expect you to understand. Right? Yo, he can Ooh. sing, bro. He can Especially sing. Especially when he his how he changes melody. He's sick. Yo, he's oh yeah. man, he he's good. Yo, he's really good. This he's is a really, really dope good. song. Like, this even, is like, a dope take, song. Take Ooh. everything out of it that we've been talking about, which is obviously amazing. Mm -hmm. But this song in general, like I can listen to this song. Yeah. And like yeah, I agree with you. It's yeah. a dope song. Yeah. It's a dope it, it, song. It brings you to a place for certain. hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. I'm I'm like I'm like blown away he can sing like this. I thought he was a rapper. I, I, I forgot no that he was a rapper. <laughs> yeah. We need to do a rap song now so no drink can actually see that this guy can actually spit. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even care. Definitely. I don't even want to hear him. I don't want to hear him rap no more. I want to hear him <laughs> sing about you know world topics. Yeah, jeez. Oh, I mean, like this is different too. This is not just like political. No, this is for the people. This is. I I love these type of songs. Like when it, when they talking about the everyday person, it's deep. Mm -hmm. It's like how can you not feel it? Like who are you, yo? What are you an yeah. alien, yo? How do you not feel this? He, yeah. He's he's bringing up so much, yo, and he's just like. Nothing but facts, too, you know? It's too yeah. real. It's yo, too it's, real, man. It's one of the realest, y'all. Not everybody can be Dax. Yeah. The greatest, the greatest rapper right? and singer of all time. <laughs> there can only be one, right? Yeah. yeah look, look at <laughs> The GOAT. <laughs> Let's go. The GOAT. Let's go. He knows it. <laughs> Life as a man you provide. They don't know what you worth till the day that you die. And that's when they start crying. Then move on. That's why we feel we can't hide ourselves We don't expect you to understand We just hope we can explain What it's like to be Goosebumps, man, from the end of that. Jeez. That song was fire. Fire. Wow. That dude can sing. He had a good melody. Yeah. From start to finish, that, that whole thing was just God. It's this, so this, touching, this, moving, this, everything, man. He hit he hit all the major stuff, had all the working men in there. Like he represented it like to the fullest. To for it being all people. negative stuff of like what men deal with, the way that he presented it was like in such like an on point way that like man i'm like i'm like how haven't we seen something like this already yeah i know, you know what i mean I like know. why are more people not coming up with stuff like this because there's like, other pointless shit to complain about that's why <laughs> man i'm gonna be honest with you when it comes to dax like i said there's only two songs this is my second song this is a full song of his i didn't even know he could sing but from what i've heard in him rapping he got something to say every single time. I don't think yeah. he's going to come on and give you any fillers, anything like, you know what I mean? Like he, I don't know. He just seems like a really honest guy that's out here for the people. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I, I wouldn't yeah. mind him representing me. You know what I'm saying? Because he, he's, he's speaking my heart right now. So, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah. Well, Dax saved me hours of uh, conversation when my wifey ever wants to know how I'm feeling or you want to talk. Mm -hmm listen to dax yeah straight <laughs> he, up, got he got me he got me i'll tell you what man. it's like to be a man <laughs> yeah. 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 Jeez. that's wow. real though man he he spits some real facts in here man and this this song was just fire 
Yeah, oh, I love everything like, about the song. The whole song, yeah. man. Everything. The message, the video, him putting everything this, this together. It. Yeah, yeah video God. Was nice. Video was real good. Yo, the super video sim- was super great. simple. Having him in the background just watching and all that stuff. But like the narrative was like so on point with the entire mm-hmm. thing that he was talking about in the entire song. Yeah, Nobody geez. died. <laughs> yeah. No, and again, Nobody like, got like, shot. Him him yeah. bringing up the vets, like just just bringing up like a like a man's feelings, you know, like like this is like a hidden secret in society. You know what I mean? Like men are supposed to just like stay firm, like mm-hmm. never show you no emotion and just ride along. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, like, yo, Dax, like what, what you expect? You know, you're not going to get nothing less than a 10 over here. Yo, <laughs> like, you yeah. know what I mean? He's a monster, yo mind-blowing yo this dude yeah. has been mind-blowing to me like i can't wait to go through his albums i can't wait to listen to more songs of his no here. this is definitely a 10. this has got to be a 10 all across the board right because it's not about yeah. what you know it's what you could buy in your home right yeah, yeah. yeah. that line alone is like geez mm-hmm. that that like fit that chorus fit the whole song perfectly mm-hmm. put, put you down to you pick yourself up that's why he said even in the song i'm pretty sure like you have to be the one pick picking yourself up you, you know? do That's, yeah, yeah bro. nobody's gonna you figure you. you go to you go to hell right you have to go through hell and then mm-hmm. you have to realize nobody's coming to come save you no right it's you want to you. yourself back up out of that yeah. hell yeah get right? it out of that yo yeah just switch the dynamic of how i was feeling at the moment mm-hmm. yeah. like i was feeling Jeez. like heartwarm i was feeling sad and that shit like he was like you gotta rip you grab yourself out of hell yeah yeah you're that's right Shit, yo, i'm gonna listen to this shit while i'll be working out <laughs> yo yeah. you, know, you know what this yeah. is this is like keep your head up yeah Tupac mm-hmm. towards yeah. men though towards you know? men yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Was, he couldn't have did a better job than this yeah bro. that's like, a good reference nobody yeah. that would have been Jeez. able to do this yo like this was yeah. amazing yo yeah. Good job, Dax. Thank you so I'm much. For the yo, please, yeah. This guy's the greatest, yo. I'm telling you, yo. My boy yeah. won't fail, yo. I, I king, bro. For you got sure. one. You got one that I like. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, this guy's fire. a monster. Yeah, he's fire. Yeah. Thank you for hanging out with us. We just checked out Dax and his fire song, and it was amazing. We all gave it full 10 all across the board, so that's how we feel. So you let us know how you feel in the comment section. Don't forget to like and share and all that good stuff, and until next time. Peace.